news, events, sports. Same time, same place, right in the heart of Isla Vista. UCSB TV is serving UC Santa Barbara and the surrounding community with real journalism. Welcome back to UCSB TV. I'm Rebecca Hurtado Fairweather. Good to see you again. I'm Francesca Dagata, your anchor for tonight. Francesca, I'm so glad to have you here and in good spirits. I feel like so many people have been to come to the cold and flu season, myself included. You're right. I have been trying to dodge it for as long as I can. Knock on wood, I will keep it as far away from me as possible. Please. You see, Santa Barbara has had the same idea. The university has sent their annual flu shot reminder. The University of California's policy on vaccination programs requires annual influenza vaccines for all of its students, faculty, and staff using campus facilities. There is also an opt-out program in place. While often the big debate is, is it worth it? I personally do. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention urges people to get it. According to the CDC, a flu vaccination can shorten the length of a flu hospital stay, reduce the risk of ICU admissions from flu, and reduce the risk of death from flu. But whether you get it or not, the university is still mandating students to fill out the form in their student health portal. And moving on to some cuter news, Isla Vista Recreation and Park District hosted a free bark party. A what? I know, wait until you see these faces. The dogs of Isla Vista came together at Sueño Park on Wednesday for a dog, resources, a bone bar, and photo shoot. Oh my god, that is adorable. <laughs> Who knew that many dogs lived in IV? Those faces are out of this world and they can even make the most serious cat person into a dog lover. I know, Becca. And speaking of outer space, former gaucho Jose Hernandez blasted onto our campus for a film screening of A Million Miles Away. The screening was in support for National First Generation Week. First, Chancellor Yang spoke about Jose Hernandez and the chair of the Chicano Studies Department at UCSB spoke briefly. He introduced Jose, and then Jose came out and spoke about his father's six ingredient steps to being successful. He added a seventh ingredient, perseverance. He talked about applying to NASA 11 times before finally being accepted for the mission. On the note of things we love, Isla Vista Co-op is mourning the loss of their beloved tree outside their store. Jenna McGovern has the story. After much consideration, the Isla Vista co-op management team made the decision to remove their beloved silk oak tassel tree outside of the store on October 28th. The tree, which had been an iconic landmark of the co-op, had been decaying, posing a risk of falling branches on bystanders in the area. The store's employees and management declined to interviews, and I will continue to update as the story progresses. Co-op management and the store's board of directors are in the works of memorializing the tree. They hope to recruit funds to create a tribute with a local artist. Supporters flooded the comments of the co-op's Instagram post, announcing the tree's removal. Co-op patron Don Lubach commented, Sorry for this significant loss, and many voiced their excitement for memorial. Perhaps a mural that features it could be a nice way to honor its memory, wrote local Dan Waterhouse. The co-op is encouraging store owners to attend their annual owner meeting on November 12th, where plans and a discussion for the memorial project will begin. I'm Jenna McGovern with UCSB TV. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Jenna. It is always cute seeing humans come together for things like this. For some, it might be a tree, but obviously for others, it's a loved one. That's right. And we will continue to update the story as preparations go underway. In the sports world, Ryan and Anthony are here today to talk about the crazy men's soccer game we had last week. What's going on, Gauchos? This is Anthony Gill, co-sports anchor. And this is Ryan Greenberg, also your co-sports anchor. Last week, we had the privilege of attending our men's soccer game against UC Riverside. And might I say, Anthony, it was absolutely electric. I couldn't agree more, Ryan. This match was an end-to-end -end thriller. Lots of goals, late drama, a roaring and ruckus crowd. This match had it all. Well said, Anthony. And we've got you with all the coverage you need. The Gauchos hosted the UC Riverside Highlanders at Harder Stadium in the Big West Championships quarterfinals. Despite falling down 0-2 early in the second half, the Gauchos staged a furious comeback to win the game late by a score of 3-2. This playoff game certainly, certainly did not like a playoff atmosphere, but the Highlanders were able to weather the storm and score a goal against the Tide. Despite being outpossessed and outplayed, the Highlanders staged a counterattack to steal the first goal of the game in the 23rd minute. The Gauchos were dispossessed in the attacking end on a questionable no-call, and the Highlanders were able to capitalize on the distraction and slickly progress the ball down the field as Noah Lopez slotted home a nifty goal. 
The Highlanders took their one goal lead into halftime and quickly quelled the energy that the Gauchos took out of the halftime locker room by doubling their lead. The Highlanders, once again against the pace of play, advantageously capitalized on Gaucho's goalkeeper Leroy Zeller standing off his line and perfectly lobbed a 30 to 40 something yard chip over Zeller to double their lead in the 46th minute. The Gauchos were not to be deterred, however. Instead of submitting to defeat, the Gauchos immediately rallied to begin their comeback. The Gauchos pulled one back in the 54th minute as Nicholas Williamson poked home a rebound spilled by UC Riverside goalkeeper Carlos Gonzalez to make the score 2-1. to one. The Gauchos equalizer did not come easily as our boys had to persevere and focus through a lot of drama and chippiness. Throughout the 60th and 70th minute, the game became increasingly hostile. The race stakes that come in a playoff match led to an increase in fouls, trash talking, and bickering with the referees. Tension spilled over just after the 70th minute when a Highlander defender committed a handball into the 18-yard box, leaving the referee no choice but to award the Gauchos a penalty. After several minutes of referee discussions and Highlander bemoaning, the penalty was confirmed. Through the taunting of several UC Riverside players, Alexis Ledoux coolly sent the keeper the wrong way and slotted home the penalty down the left side to tie the match in the 78th minute. Seven minutes later, the Gauchos earned a corner kick after more questionable antics from the Highlanders. Ledoux delivered a perfect cross to find a towering Chava Aguilar at the near post, who smashed a perfectly timed header into the net to win the game. The Gauchos held on for the rest of the game to win 3-2 and advance to the Big West Championship semifinals. Let's hear the reactions from the players and head coach Tim Von Steeg. I mean, the game didn't turn out like we thought it was going to. Um, the plan was to fall behind 2-0 and then have to just throw everything, caution the win, and get after it. Uh, I actually thought we'd played a good first half. We just gave up a goal. Uh, and then, you know, coming out of halftime, we gave up the second goal. Um, but... You know, every, everything you say about your team fighting through adversity, uh, this has been an up and down year for us. We've had some really great wins and then we've had some really frustrating losses. So I think those experiences lend itself to this type of effort. Uh, and in the end, uh, I thought that we wore them down um, and we stayed after it. And to be honest, we weren't happy with just tying the game. I knew that if we could get that first goal, the next couple would come. Um, so obviously a great result, um, happy to play our home game and at least win this game. The Gauchos advanced to face the UC Irvine Anteaters last Saturday in the Big West Championship semifinals, but unfortunately lost in a competitive 2-1 to -one match, ending their season. Nonetheless, the Gauchos still had an incredible game and season. We're so proud of men's soccer and super excited for what their future holds. That's all we have for you this week, however. Thank you all so much for watching. For Anthony Gill, I'm Ryan Greenberg, and this is UCSB TV. We'll see you next week. Thanks, you two, and thank you for tuning in to UCSB TV, the only broadcast station here at UCSB bringing you all the sports, news, and events. Until next week, I'm Francesca Daggett, and I'm Rebecca Ruthaldo Fairweather. Have a good night.